my reputation in the field is coming up with ways to uh, assess visual attention. So I developed uh, two techniques that I thought would improve visual learning. So the ultimate goal was to get to the severely preterm and low birth weight infants since they, we know they have developmental delays. And we found that historically that we have long and short looking infants. Turns out that short looking infants seem to process more information about a picture than long lookers. And if you follow developmentally, attention decreases with age. So we're becoming more efficient at processing information. Special populations, severely preterm, low birth weight infants, uh, autistic infants, uh, attention deficit, they do not do that as well. And they turn out to be long lookers also. So part of the goal was what is it that, for me, what is it that long lookers and short lookers are doing differently? Because it turns out that short lookers attend to detail, uh, long lookers don't. But we could never assess that uh, without the equipment. Toby uh, is a, a unique uh, device to assess visual scanning. Uh, not only where you look, how long you look, uh, and visual tracking, you know, a sequence, uh, it, it will do that. The software uh, is probably really key because afterwards you, you can actually just press a button and it'll show a person's visual tracking. Not only where they look, but how long they look. It will also measure uh, the latency to respond, how quickly you go to a certain part. After it's over, I, they call it AOIs, areas of interest. So I can define eyes, mouth, nose, wherever in any stimulus that we think is of interest. And then the program will allow us to click and it'll tell us how long they looked in those areas, how many times they did, how quickly they responded to those. Visual attention, the, the biggest developmental shift is at three to four months. And I love four monthers. Uh, and part of the shift in scanning is also uh, very obvious there. The very young infant is tied to the stimulus. So when they look at the, they sometimes they can't even turn loose. The less materns uh, will have a look that will last eight minutes. And they may be sitting there going, and they can't turn loose of it. Uh, they're under the control of that. So that's where I, what I call habitual experience. If they've had experience looking at things, uh, certain types of stimuli, then they can look and they can move on. Normal scanning, they'll look at the eyebrows, eyes, nose, mouth, uh, contrast around the forehead, etc. cetera. Uh, autistic kids, attention deficit, they don't. They tend to uh, av avoid the emotional aspect uh, and it's not something that's systematic. So it doesn't mean that they can't scan. So my idea is that what can we do to promote visual scanning? So if you're not looking, you're not gonna attend to detail uh, and you're, you're probably gonna miss out on some early learning. It turns out that if you're encoding information that is something you've never seen before, uh, heart rate tends to decrease. If you're using information in your head, thinking about something, heart rate increases. We've tested it with um, several studies with adults. We mimic the, the, the tasks like we did with the infants, and we've shown that heart rate accelerates when they're trying to figure out the problem. Uh, and as they figure it out, uh, heart rate begins to decrease. And then when they have figured out and solved the problem, basically heart rate is a flat line, meaning it's, it's well below, and so they're just uh, encoding the information they've already figured it out. Showing parents the capabilities of infants during the first year of life, because uh, they underestimate their, their child also. And once you know the capabilities of infants, you, uh, your child, you're probably gonna work harder at that level.